and I'm in Mexico City this week and thought I'd shoot a short video on an insight that I learned around the five golden questions. Last week I had the chance to spend time with my colleagues in Phoenix, Arizona and Mahan Carlson. He shared with me an insight that I found just absolutely fantastic. Shared it with my class this week, was received very well, so I thought I'd put it in this video blog. The insights around the five golden questions. The five golden questions are used and help us take hard measurable data and turn it into money. Those five golden questions are, how do you measure it? What is it now? What would you like it to be? What's the value of the difference over time? And that helps us take something that's hard and measurable and turn it into money. And in most cases we can do this. If we can't, of course we'll use a scale from one to 10 to determine if there's enough value there to move or act. Well, Mahan took those five golden questions and said, guys, if we're in a situation where it's short, we don't have a lot of time, we may just focus on one simple question. And that one question is, what are the one or two key metrics that must improve in order to make this project worthwhile? And that's just a really quick way, an easy way, to develop impact. Now, of course, when time allows, the five golden questions give us more detail. We can extrapolate it over time and get a better number. But if we only have limited time, using that one question, which is, what are the one or two key metrics that must improve in order for this project to be worthwhile. That can be very valuable. Just focusing on that and having a mindset will help us develop impact. And of course, when clients see impact, they recognize there's a return. When the return is there, it's easy for them to invest or buy. If we don't have return, they look at us as a cost center. And no matter what the cost is, no matter where you're at, it's always too much or too high. No business person on earth likes costs. People do like investments when they're confident the return is there. Remembering that one simple question can help us focus on developing impact so the client knows there's a solid return. If they believe it to be true and it can be achieved, that's when they buy from us. So there's the insight for the week. Good luck, happy selling, make something great happen. Thanks a bunch.